up guys, Dino here with another instructional video at Playback Racing. This is a quick video showing you how to connect your fuel level sending unit in a Mazda RX-7 FD to the Haltech IC display. This video is going to be the same for any sending unit that you might have, but we have right here a radium in-tank surge sending unit. We can see right here it's already wired for the sensors so it's going to have level and then ground. And the ground is the one that we're going to be concentrating on today. The Haltech instructions are going to show you this pin out but just for reference right here pins 18, 19, 20 and 21 which are the ones 21 is the one with the blue cable green stripe that I have right there it's predetermined by Haltech that that is your fuel level and then we have pin 30 pin 30 is your sensor ground so that one's really important so the problem we were experiencing here is that the sending unit inside of the Mazda RX-7 FD shares the ground with the common ground of the whole vehicle Whereas the Haltech, not only the ECU, but also the display are going to be using the 5 volt sensor ground provided from the plug directly. Here we have the factory level sending unit. Uh, whenever you mount it to the fuel sending unit, it mounts through a screw hole right here. And that is also where the ground cable goes. Um, this bracket transfers the ground signal to this screw so what you would do to even verify if it's functioning is you will check continuity between this point and this point right here and then as you sweep this arm up and down you're gonna see the continuity change and it's gonna start giving you resistance and it'll give you a sweep of no resistance to full resistance So here's the issue with this sending unit, which was not the problem, by the way, if we were using that ground position, it was going to be interfering because that's a 12 volt ground, not a sensor ground like the Haltech likes to use. That ground point that I was talking about close to that green wire, that brass, that brass Phillips, you're going to run a wire directly to that piece and straight to the back to terminal 30 to the sensor ground. In our case, uh, which this is already assembled, but you can still see and everything is labeled, we have just a ground strap and then the level signal coming from the radium in tank surge. Basically, by utilizing the ground coming straight out of the Haltech, it completes that circuit and allows it to read the fuel level. Let's plug into the screen and set it up. Let's click load from dash to see what it's doing. So go ahead and pick one of your screens. We're going to use the Haltech Hero 1, which is the first one. We're going to select fuel level right here. And for the channel we want it to read from, I'm going to search fuel. And this is going to say raw voltage. That's the one that we're going to select. The raw voltage now as you see your fuel level go all the way up and all the way down is going to give you the voltage reading coming straight from the sensor. So you're going to use this voltage reading okay and uh, I suggest doing it before you put everything back together. That way you can hold the sensor all the way down and write down that voltage and then hold it all the way up and note that voltage as well. That's going to be your range as we adjust the sensor right now. Once we're done with that step, we're going to come and select fuel level again. Okay, and we're going to put fuel level, the regular one, not the raw voltage. And we're going to select that. So now everything's back to normal. Now where you want to do the adjustments is right here where it says channels. 
Clicking on channels, this little window is going to pop up and you can select the channel again, just like before. So let's go over here and we're going to select fuel. And we're going to select the channel that we're using. We're done with the raw voltage. So we're going to select this channel right here. Input calibration allows you to go ahead and ingress those values that we just learned from the raw. So here we have the voltage we're going to be seeing and the voltage that we're going to be seeing right here. So this is 100% fuel and this is 0% fuel. This is what this car ran at. Once you're done ingressing all your settings, make sure that you send to dash because this isn't some kind of live adjustment. You have to adjust everything on your computer the way you want it and then you send it to the dash. Once it's done, all the information that you just edited should be in the screen. And now we are getting a fuel level if you wire it that way and the fuel level goes by percentage. Thanks again for joining me here at Playback Guys. My name is Dino. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And also drop me some comments uh, where I can improve on these videos, what kind of videos you want to see, and what you want to learn. Catch you next time.